my world, you cannot sit there and things are just gonna come. You gotta hustle. People have been calling me Black China, but I'm Angela White. Let's go. Every step is a step to success. <laughs> here to channel my temper. Watch out, What's man. My knees hurt. Your problem is your attitude, not your knees. This is my next journey. I'll make or break for you. I want to see how far I can go. I can't do it. I can't do it. Mm -mm. I can't do it. You got this. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> that is Angela White, our guest, competing on the new season of Special Forces on Fox. We've had a couple of people on this show who've been contestants or who've participated in this. And every time I ask the same question, are you sure <laughs> that this was a good idea? What were you thinking? You know what? <sighs> hmm, it was a lot of thought. <laughs> um, let's see, the first thing was, a lot of people don't know, so when I was like in high school, I was on the JRTC team and I wanted to go to the army or the military something. But they told me, they're like, hey, you know, I know that you're passionate about this, but you're flat-footed, so I don't think that you're gonna go that far. So for me, I'm like, okay, this is my chance to shine. Oh! And I wanna see like how far I can go. Yeah, because they take the, the people on the show through the same rigorous training of mm -hmm. special forces. The motto of the show is no guts, no glory, no glam. No glam. No glam. <laughs> the glam was out. They took you, you were in LA, they took you to the freezing cold mountains of New Zealand. Yes. Okay, are you athletic? Cause I mean, is it, I, I'm it, pretty, I'm pretty athletic. Like what? But this is different though. Okay, listen, this was different. running in LA on a treadmill, it's, is that no, not, not yeah, athletic? This was different. You this were like different. definitely different. Were you, were, cause we're like, look at you. You are, this is a beast move right there. <laughs> What were you doing? What, what is that? Okay, so we're, mind you, we're suspended in the air. We had to walk down a ladder, and it's nothing underneath us, like, but water and rocks. So we had to, to plunge, like, plunge from here from the, what should I call this? The shelf? A platform, I don't know. yeah. The platform, yeah. the platform onto the beam. Now, mind you, your balance and the focus of your eyes, because it's so far down and it's so far out, I had to walk with my hands out from this end. It looks end like you're like crab walking. End. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Oh. Yeah. You told me you it. really hurt your arm. And I really hurt my arm. My arm still hurts. <laughs> your arm still hurts. I tried to catch myself. I ended up falling through. Okay. But I got back up and I went all the way to the very end. <laughs> I love it. So um, the show itself, what was your goal? Because I heard you say, you know, you wanted to really help people understand you are Angela White, you are resilient, mm -hmm. you're a survivor. What was the goal overall on that show? I just really wanted to test myself and put myself in a different environment, a different environment. Had you ever even gone camping? No. <laughs> nope, never been camping. You know you can start camping and then work your way up. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, well, I guess it's too late now. <laughs> I guess it's too late now. We will be watching Angela okay. Special Forces. But don't go away. <laughs> so while she was taping Special Forces, creating her beauty line, she was working and doing the most work, you might say, on her journey to sobriety. And we'll find out Dr. Angela Renee White what that means. I know you wanted to share it. You're so yes. proud of it. Yes. We'll be right back. The last time you were here, you had you were baptized. You were getting baptized yes. for your 34th birthday. Yes. Um, in April, you shared to the world. Well, you shared this moment, and then in April, you shared that we can call you Dr. Angela Renee White. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, Doctor. <laughs> So tell the Tam fam more about this experience. This experience was life changing. It was it was really nice, and it was an honorary doctorate. So that's just it counts. Yeah, I'm just letting everyone know about that. It's an honorary, and I didn't even realize that the person that was advocating for me, his name is Dr. Benjamin. He was advocating for me way before all of this happened. So like in my eyes, I'm like, wow, like everything is just literally lining up exactly like how God wanted it to be, and it was from a God, a Bible college. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
You are celebrating one year of sobriety. Yes. That's huge. Today. Huge. One year to the huge. 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 The show is about putting in the work. That's a, that's a different level of work. It um, is. And I know every day wasn't easy. No, not at all. Not even a little shot, a little wine, a little this. And you're in LA. Nothing, like nothing. It's like, no, I'm good. No, I'm straight. I'll take a Red Bull. What kind of support system did you have? Because obviously there are many people who struggle with sobriety. They mm -hmm. tell me that it's an ongoing thing. It doesn't just light switch off. What helped you? What helped me was bringing myself down to reality and then realizing like, okay, am I hurting or helping the people around me? And helping not like with, you know, like money or things like that, but I didn't want to like continue to hurt the people around me or even, yeah. you know, ha have my kids grow up seeing me doing this stuff, even though we think that kids don't see, they know oh, everything. They see and know everything. It's like, how do you know this? I'm up here, like, how? No. Like, do you have cameras? They, <laughs> like, they don't miss anything. They know everything. Well, listen, there's a miss. lot out there for your kids to see, but I want them to see this. Do we have our cake? We want to celebrate your oh, one year you. sobriety. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is what. Oh, and thank those you are so yours. much. And so, um, so the audience, you don't know this, but I know this. And we talked about her a second ago. Okay. You reconcile with your mom, and yes. she wanted to be here, as you know. Tokyo, Tony, come on. I got balloons. And you got balloons. Hello, beautiful lady. Mm -hmm. You know you? what? I'm great. I'm great. And look, your child is over here crying. I know. So, I know. <laughs> that's wow. my big baby. That's, have a seat. Yes, ma'am. You said that's your big baby. That's my big baby. <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, mama. Hi, baby. What you doing? <laughs> What you doing? I'm uh, over here on the Tamron Hall. <laughs> <laughs> um, first of all, why are you crying? How does it Because feel? I never thought that I would get to this point. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. Come on, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. It's all right. It's all right. This is what mamas are for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where'd you get the tissue uh, from? I, know. <laughs> I it was, I know, the tissue, no, I, I like, whipped hey. it around. Um, I've followed and I've seen the ups and downs. Yes. How does it feel for you to, as she said, you were a baby when you had her. Yes. And you evolved yourself as a parent. Yes. How does this all feel for you? Kind of surreal. Yeah. Um, first of all, being a young girl, young lady, like I'm sure pl pl plenty of people in the audience, um, those times were different than these times. Um, raising her, it was very difficult because I was single. You know, her dad wasn't around. What it does for me to see her growth because Hollywood, it does things to people. It changes you. And to see her be different than what I, meaning in a bad way, you know, everybody knows I go in. Yeah. So it's like, I'm going to go in because I got to pull her out, you know? Um, seeing her sober, no makeup, fillers gone, this is who I birthed, Angela. <laughs> this is who I birthed. And she has, for everybody in the world to know, she has the biggest heart yes. in the world. Yes. And I'm tough. Oof. She has a very big heart. It's so big that sometimes she forgot about herself, mm. taking care of everyone else. You know how many cats she has? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's got another cat. <laughs> His name's Riley. And, she, <laughs> and this is what she does. She's a very beautiful person. What you see is what you get. It's true. It's and true. it's just as simple as that. I, I could never, I could have never imagined us 
like this after that mm -hmm. mess because it was lies. It was a mess. This here, this is the truth. Oh. I love you more. I knew that when I saw the name Black China, I was like, there was always something drawing me to her story. Mm -hmm. And I just was so happy to see it. And I was so thrilled to hear that you were going to be here today because yes. we all go through things. Yes. But everybody needs a rock. Mm -hmm. And everybody needs somebody rooting for them. Yes. And we're all flawed in many, many ways. But I'm happy you are here with her yes. today on this day. Yes. Please stay off the gram cussing people out. That's the only favor <laughs> that I have. That is the only thing. I'm that's, gonna take your phone. That's my only Tamron Hall favor. You heard it here. Put it on any blog. <laughs> Tamron Hall is officially as Tokyo Tony. Please stop going in on the people, ma'am.